Hey, what's up turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And today I want to share with you the Condor Tool and Knife Greenland Pattern X. Here is the X and I probably had this for two years now. And this particular model is going around $50 online and I'll discuss in detail exactly which this one is because there are two options. Let's take, the, take a look at the sheath first on this because it's a really nice sheath. Nice leather sheath on this axe. And being honest, this is the nicest sheath I've seen come with an axe compared to even the Scandinavian much higher priced axes. This Condor has hands down the best leather mask in my opinion. Have rivets on here. Little grommet down here. You see a nice big thick welt sandwiched in between. Really nice strong size line 24 snap on that. And I actually did make a custom mask. I made one because I had a little mishap with here and I could have I could have drilled this rivet out, put a new strap on it, but I decided just to make a brand new one, which you'll see in an upcoming video. Yeah, really nice, really nice leather mask or sheath. Take a look at the head right now. And like I said, this is the Greenland pattern act. You can see that sort of with the head design, but this is about five and a half inches from back here all the way up. And the cutting edge is about three and a half, three and five eighths. High carbon steel. Again, there's some discrepancies online, whether it's 1045 or 1060, I'm not sure, but either way, it's a high carbon steel head. See the pole, see the El Salvador stamp made in. I will be doing some work with this, but the only mod I really did to this was I sharpened it when I first got it. And I've had this, I think, like I said, for a couple years. I sharpened it. I never really cut or sliced as much as I wanted to. So then I actually ended up going back in and thinning the bit, kind of where my finger's running. I thinned that down a little bit on both sides and kept the convex shape to the blade and it slices so much better now. Taking a look at the handle now, this is American hickory wood. It's about 16 inches long. It has a really, really nice shape that I'm very fond of. Plenty of meat to hold on to right here up by the head if you need to choke up. Just a really beautiful handle shape. And there wasn't any weird coating on this handle when it came, which was nice. Just put a couple uh, couple coatings of boiled linseed oil on it, like you would any wooden tool handle. Took a look at the green orientation on the handle. It's not perfect, ideally, you know, for a big, powerful axe, you'd want it running sort of up and down, as my finger is, and this is about 45. But for this small of an axe, I don't really see it as an issue at all. Seeing how the axe is now wedged on the handle, we have a round, circular metal wedge with a wooden wedge in between the handle. And you can see that gap. That's how it came. And like I said, I've had this for a couple years and I don't use this every day. You know, I'm a hobbyist with my, my carving and all of that. The head has not loosened at all. This gap hasn't got any larger, so no need to, uh, no need to fix it or, or drill it out. I have the ax flipped upside down and it almost looks like whoever was hanging this head the handle was cut too small. It looks like they just jammed pieces of wood down in there. <laughs> now I have another one of these and it's absolutely perfect. The head being hanged on the handle, it's perfect. Don't have any weird issues like that. There's no space. There's no space in there on the other one I have. So, you know, this is an affordable ax. Some of the quality things, you kind of are just gonna have to take that on the chin. All right, so at this point in the video, we're gonna use the ax and I'm gonna use it in ways that I find works really well for an ax this size. So I want to, you know, get some firewood process and I always like the method of doing it like this.
I think it's a really efficient and safe way to process firewood with such a small axe or hatchet. Because of this handle shape, it's really nice to be able to choke up if you want and do some push cuts if you want to, if your axe is sharp enough. It takes a sharp axe to be able to get curls like that. And this is really nice carving wood. This is tulip poplar. But I'm gonna do a video, we're gonna do a video on the mods I did, how I sharpened it, and how I thinned the bit. I might have a good chance lighting this with a ferro rod. And that's the nice thing about this axe being inexpensive, that you can practice on sharpening, reprofile on the edge and not worrying about ruining an already precise tool. At this point, I want to do some swings and cuts like I would if I was carving a spoon or anything really. All right, so that's pretty much all the carving or use I'm going to do with the axe today. And like I said, because that uh, I thinned the bit and it's shaving sharp, literally, it performs so much better with wood. I think this axe is a great buy for the money. It's not probably going to come as sharp as you want it, but a tool at that price range with the materials, some of it's, like I said, you're gonna have to take it on the chin, but you can practice without fearing that you're gonna ruin a perfectly good tool. So if you're looking to get into maybe carving or just in general, you want something, you know, a classic looking tool. And that's why I bought this. I use the S-Wing and it works really well for carving for my purposes, but I wanted something with a wooden handle and this is what I got. And like I said, I think I've had this for probably two years. Do any of you have any experience with this ax or any other Condor tool and knife products? Let me know because they're a budget friendly option and the quality has changed going back and forth um, throughout the years. I think it's pretty good now. So I'd be curious to see if any of you have um, a recent axe from them and what the quality is like. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks to our patrons for your support on Patreon. And to the next video, this is Crick and Stoney with Black Owl. Peace out, turtles.